On March the 1st, 1962, 1,200 feet below the Nevada Desert, the primary device was successfully detonated in the first of Britain's underground nuclear tests, codenamed Pax. Later that year, AWRE's warhead designers were able to advise the director, Sir William Penny, that such a weapon could be produced by 1966. But whilst the warhead is the heart of the weapon, the need to ensure its effective operation following the war calls upon a wider range of expertise. One thing I can remember, what I'd like to is even, um, the women had all been in about three quarters of an hour, I suppose. I had a call from one of the men in charge of one of the rooms where they were working. Major, can you come up quick? I said, what's the matter now? You know, just like that thing. Well, come up. I said, well, what's the matter? What's gone wrong? Come up quick. I said, I went up there. And there was a woman in on night duty, and it was in the shell filling room, where they were filling the shells, Mark, you and apparently she came in a little the worse for drink. And she got them into an argument with one of the other women there and she threw a shell across the room which hit the wall. Fortunately it wasn't fused. <laughs> I'll never forget that night. <laughs> and the, I, got, I got one of the policemen to come up and escort her out quick. <laughs>